Hi guys, it's me, Greg. It's really nice to be with you today. Thank you for joining me. I'm going to do your tarot reading. And the way I'm going to do it this time is I'm going to do it for a kind of a long weekend. So this reading will be for Thursday the 28th, Friday the 29th, Saturday the 30th, and Sunday the 31st of May. So this reading is really going to cover the last four days of the month. And I'm going to choose one card for each day to give you an overall idea of what this long weekend is going to bring you and offer you. So I'm using the New Age Tarot today. And I'm just going to put my cards together here. And then I'm going to choose my four cards. So let's have a look at what's coming up. I hope May has been a wonderful month for you. I hope it's been really productive. I hope it's offered you everything that you wanted to achieve. So let's have a look here. So this is Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay. Let's adjust them so they look good. Right. So Thursday we've got the Empress. And the Empress is the number three, the third card of the major arcana. And threes are always new beginnings. It's a fresh start. It's new energy, renewed energy, and a move forward. The Empress is a wonderful card because she represents the mother figure. She represents caring about something, nurturing something, helping something grow. So Thursday is all about getting into something that you care about, that you genuinely care about, and that you really want to see progress, grow, flourish, develop, and you're channeling your energy into helping that and making it happen. So that's a really positive energy because it means that you're giving of yourself, you're kind of lending your energy to a new project or to another person, and whenever you do that, you add value to someone else's life or experience, and when you add value, you get value back. So that's a really positive kind of um, energy to engage with on Thursday. Friday is the Seven of Wands in reverse. And the Seven of Wands you can see is quite a complicated card. You've got a lot of chaos going on here. And you've got these um, seven kind of impenetrable totems blocking and, and creating obstacles. And because it's in reverse, those totems are kind of um, eased off. You can see them almost being pulled away. And that chaos isn't so much contained and that frustration isn't contained by these challenges, by these obstacles that are insurmountable. But things become easier and frustrations ease on Friday because the path clears. So something that has stood in your way that has prevented you from moving forward until now is resolved, leaves, is eased off and that can be anything that can be um, you know someone at work kind of constantly um, putting blocks in your way or hampering your progress or it can be um, not making any progress with paperwork or it can be writer's block if you're if you're working on um, a project or an essay or something like that it can be yourself so if you struggle with feelings of anger or um, feelings of selfishness and you just can't seem to make any progress with those things start opening up and it's like a window of opportunity the pressure is off on Friday and you're able to um, feel much more at ease with things and that chaos and that's really the, the crux here that chaos eases and there's a way forward Saturday let's have a look at that Saturday is the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. The Ten of Pentacles is a wonderful card because in the usual tarot it's represented as the Kabbalistic Tree of Life. And here it's a pyramid with a tree growing at the front, so uh, at the top. And it represents real stability and it represents roots and growth and growing the way you ought to and the way you should. And it's in reverse. So it seems that um, structure and a way forward on Saturday seems out of your grasp and you can't quite see what it is. So basically, it means that you're not resting on your laurels on Saturday. You're not saying, oh, I'm totally clear on what I've done. I'm completely at peace. I'm totally relaxed and everything I've wanted to achieve is over with. 
that's not the case. I really feel that you're continuing to strive and you're continuing to try and um, improve your circumstances and find a way forward. And that's really echoed by the Fool in reverse on Sunday because the Fool moves forward without knowing where he's going. Look, he just reaches for the stars there, reaches for the flowers in, in the heavens and he falls off the cliff because he doesn't know what he's doing. And it's in reverse. It means you're not quite moving forward because you're still trying to figure out which way to turn, what the way forward actually is, and this weekend is really a good time to actually step back a little bit and to do research and to figure out what your options are rather than moving forward, okay? So I'd like you to take this weekend, don't take it off in terms of, um, you know, complete checkout, complete re relaxation, because I don't think you're going to feel completely relaxed anyway. But also, um, don't make any drastic decisions, don't sign any contracts, don't, um, you know, agree to move to the different place or set up business with the new partner just yet, if it feels rushed. Do some more research, find out where your roots are, where your stability lies and what growth is potential and what potential growth can come out of this situation and get really clear on that. Don't leave things to chance. Sometimes it's good to um, act when you're not completely prepared because sometimes things are fortuitous and things grow and we have to act quickly and we have to take risks. This weekend isn't one of those times. This weekend is a time when you have to get really clear on what your purpose is, on what you're trying to achieve, on what you're trying to do. and. Um, projecting into the future even a little bit and getting really really practical and realistic about what the possibilities are and can be. Uh, this is a great time of year to have these kind of thoughts, to look at these kind of um, options because we're almost in the middle of the year now. What have you done until now? Take stock. What has worked? What has grown? What has taken root? root what has blossomed? And what hasn't worked? And where do you want the rest of the year to progress? And that's a really nice time. So don't just rush off into the next thing because people are pressuring you and people are saying they want this and that. Where do you want to go? And really take stock of that and plan for the next couple of six months and see where it is you want to go. Things have on Friday become easier and you've seen windows and glimpses of opportunity. And on Thursday, you know, at the beginning of this long weekend, you had a real enthusiasm for nurturing and growing something new. So this new idea, is that something you want to incorporate in your six-month plan? Or do you want to keep going with what you've been doing so far? They're important questions. And you can plan the rest of 2015. I don't know about you, but 2015 has not been an easy year for me. Um, two and one and five is eight. And eight is about taking responsibility and saying, this is where my life is at. This is where I want, to, want it to be. And what transition actions do I have to take to get from A to B? And that doesn't feel very comfortable. And I imagine that you've kind of experience similar sort of pangs and growing pains and all of those. We're halfway through 2015 now. What is it that you can do in the rest of the year to take responsibility and to make things even better? So that next year, you are at that completion point and you can relax and you can kind of say, I've done the work now and this is where I'm kind of harvesting the good of my work that I did in 2015. So I hope that's useful to you. I hope that's given you some ideas and insights. If you're completely uncertain of what path you're taking, if you want some guidance, if you'd like some uh, personal one-to-one -one kind of um, information to see what's coming up for you specifically, then please get in touch with me via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. You can also email me. The address is readings at gregoryscott.co.uk. I'm on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash gregoryscott444. Um, get in touch with me and we can set that up. And also, please remember to subscribe to the channel um, so that you get updates of future videos and that um, these videos are actually found when people search for them. So I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I will speak to you next week. I'll do the daily readings again. So three cards for each, each day of the week. Um, and 
have a look at the astrology forecasts in the meantime and some of the vlogs I've done if you're into vlogs I know not everyone is but if you enjoy that kind of thing then please have a look um, thanks for joining me have a wonderful time and I'll speak to you soon